What's up guys and girls, we're back here at Raz Reviews today and today we've got something I'm pretty much excited to review. It's the Hellvape Dead Rabbit V2 RDA. So yeah guys, I was a big fan of the V1 RDA, reason being the flavor of it was fantastic, the cloud production was fantastic. And yeah, pretty much from there they went to the Drop Dead RDA, they went to the Passage RDA and nothing sort of matched up to how much I actually enjoyed the Dead Rabbit RDA. Not to say that the Drop Dead wasn't good, nor the Passage, I mean they were fantastic for flavor, but there was always that something missing from there. Which I think you guys will find out later in the video has come back in the V2 RDA. So let's delve down, let's unbox it. I can show you guys everything you get inside there, build on it, teach you guys exactly your coil placement, and then I can share all my thoughts with you guys on what I think about the Dead Rabbit V2 RDA. So inside the box of your Dead Rabbit V2, you're gonna find yourself your Dead Rabbit V2 tripper, Underneath that, you're gonna get your user manual. You're gonna get a box of spares, including a spare drip tip, as well as O-rings and screwdrivers. And you're gonna find yourself a Dead Rabbit V2 sticker. So as you open up your top cap, you're gonna notice you've got huge post holes on this Dead Rabbit V2 RDA. I mean, these things can hold pretty much any coil you wanna throw inside there. You can throw in aliens, you can throw in fuse clapton, staggered fuse, all up to you. This thing will hold anything you wanna put inside. So with your coil cutting, you're gonna cut it at plus minus a four millimeter distance. And let me just show you guys over here on the camera. So four millimeters is where you're gonna be cutting it. You're then gonna be placing it one, uh, one coil going into your silver post and one going into your gold post, which is your positive and negative. Same thing on the other side, because I am gonna be building this as a dual coil. The coils I'm gonna be using today is the 28 gauge alien sent to me for the purpose of this review from boom coils. So these are 28 gauge aliens tricores. So now that the coils are installed, we're just going to fire them up, make sure there's no hot spots. Once that's done, we can move on to wicking it. So as you guys can see with the wick, I tuck it right until it just reaches the base. You pretty much don't want too much wick where it's just overflowing inside your RDA. You want it just to touch the base and that's pretty much perfect. Sweet. So now that we're done building on the coil, we're just going to be priming it up applying liquid all over that cotton on your coils as well as the coils itself. And just remember guys, this Dead Rabbit V2 has quite a deep well, so you can pretty much top this thing up with liquid and you're not really gonna get spillage, reason being with top airflow. So let's just prime that up over there. Give it a couple burst shots, just to get rid of that excess we had. And now let's put the top cap back on. Sweet. So just like with the other rendition of the Dead Rabbit RDA, you're gonna have your top airflow. Something a little bit different with this one though is you get two different types of top airflow. So you're gonna be getting a honeycomb airflow, a little bit less than your drop dead would give you in my personal opinion. And then you also get the option of your wide open airflow, which the Dead Rabbit V1 was running. However, it is wider than the V1's airflow. So for all of you cloud chasers out there, perfect for you guys. I mean, if you're more after the flavor, you're definitely gonna be looking at the honeycomb airflow. But if you're a cloud chaser, yeah, wide open airflow, definitely for you. The liquid I'm gonna be using for today's review is Dolce from Majestic Vapor. Like I told you guys, my favorite dessert of 2019, a puff pastry with a salted caramel finish. So yeah, I've been vaping through liters of this stuff this year. Like with the other Dead Rabbits and the other renditions from Hellvape, you can pretty much just drop straight down the top and it just soaks up that liquid. So now that we've primed up the coil, we are ready to vape on it. I'm gonna be starting off vaping it on the Honeycomb Airflow just to get a flavor comparison with the Drop Dead out of it and then I'll shift over to the Wide Open Airflow. The coils I'm running, like I told you guys, is the 28 gauge Aliens from Boom Coil. Shout out for them for sponsoring the coils for this video. And they are reading at a 0.18 resistance. I'm gonna be firing it up at 90 watts, honeycomb airflow. Guys, that flavor is intense. When I say intense, I don't know if any of you guys use the Drop Dead RDA. If you can imagine that on steroids, <laughs> like the flavor out of this thing I'm getting, it's just deep, intense flavor, especially for me who loves desserts. This works perfectly for me. I mean, with your fruit flavors as well, what I do like about Honeycomb Airflow is I find that it does dumb down the ice on a lot of uh, flavors which tend to be high, high in profile of it. 
So yeah, with your honeycomb airflow, you're definitely gonna be winning on that. We're now gonna switch over to the wide airflow. And if you guys can see that, I'll load an image in there as well. This airflow is huge, guys. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of airflow. And what I like about it is because they've raised the deck on the Dead Rabbit V2, it actually now lines up with your airflow a lot better, even though I've built so close to the post as you guys saw. So let's vape on it. Again, 90 watts, 0.18 coils. Let's see how this thing chucks. As you guys can see, that thing is a cloud demon. I mean, you saw the honeycomb airflow compared to the wide open airflow. This thing just chucks clouds. So if you're a cloud chaser and you do not have one in your collection, you're definitely gonna regret it. I mean, this thing can win your competitions right here. So yeah, guys, um, if I had to give this a comparison, I know a lot of you guys have been asking this compared to the V1, which one's better, which one's not, the passage, the drop dead. Look, personally for me, like I said, out of everything Hellvapes released, I was always a fan of the V1 Dead Rabbit. Reason being the flavor was always great, the ease of build. I mean, the passage isn't really something I'd recommend for someone starting out to build because you have to pre-cut your leads and so forth. But this one over here, it's pretty much really simple because even if your leads are too long, you can always still trim it underneath. And that's the beauty of them raising the deck. Now you have even amp more ample space to do that. In terms of flavor, if I had to compare this to the Rabbit, I'm definitely gonna say there's a slight increase in flavor. I mean, when I got this dropper, I pulled out my V1 and this one ran same coil, same liquid, and there was definitely better flavor of this one running the honeycomb airflow. Running the wide open airflow, however, yeah, you're not really gonna see much of a difference. So if you were running the V1 because of that airflow, go for it. I mean, there's not gonna be a big change to the V2, but that honeycomb airflow is definitely a plus side. If I had to compare to the drop dead, again, I do think the V2 wins. I mean, they had smaller uh, airflow rings on the airflow hole, sorry, on the drop dead. However, I do find that the wider ones on the dead rabbit V2, even though it being less, I do find that I am getting better flavor. Also raised deck from the drop dead, not as low. And then we move on to the passage, the passage RDA. Look guys, I was a huge fan of the Passage RDA, but like I told you guys, building on it is a bit of an issue for a new builder. It's really not ideal for you. In terms of flavor, Dead Rabbit V2 is definitely giving me better flavor than my Passage RDA. Clouds, Dead Rabbit V2 is definitely giving me better clouds out of my Passage. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for a dripper at the moment, I know the market's been kind of low with drippers, seeing all these pot systems coming into the market. The Dead Rabbit V2 is definitely one for you, I mean, I can't see why you wouldn't have it in your collection. Great flavor, great cloud. So yeah, that's about it for me today, guys. Before I forget to mention, I've actually got a giveaway which I'm gonna be posting up on my social media. I'll leave a link down below in the description. I'm gonna be giving away a starter kit, being it now December time, this is the season to give out, eh? <laughs> so I'm gonna be giving out a little device over there. I'll enter the requirements in the description as well as on my Instagram page. And yeah, that's about it for me. So don't forget to check that out. And yeah, once again, shout out to hashtag Vapes Distro for giving me this Dead Rabbit uh, V2 for the review, as well as Boom Coils for the coils. Bearded Viking, my South African brother who's creating beautiful pieces. You guys saw that in the up close images. This is one of his skulk bull stands. He does quite a few variants. I'll add his details down in the description as well, as well as Majestic Vapor for this amazing dessert. So yeah guys, that's about it for me today. One goal, one family.